Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to cover how to make money on YouTube in the future based on how the algorithm is going, based on current trends and things like that. So the first thing you're going to want to do, um, a lot more people are coming on the internet. You know, you're going to have like 2 billion YouTube users. Um, and I think they actually just hit that number. But what that means is you want to go more small niche. That means that the more users that come on the internet, um, like there's a big boom in people from India, for instance, and a lot of people all around the world coming onto the internet for the first time. As the internet gets bigger, as there are more YouTubers around, you're going to have more and more competition. And so especially on general channels, on general topics, um, you're going to have a hard time if you don't get more small niche so for an, for a few examples here you can look at say like video creators um, they're a channel based just on youtube marketing literally building a youtube channel is all they do you know how to make money on youtube how to grow faster on youtube uh, youtube growth tips how to have a good youtube meetup video ideas for youtube all that stuff another example you'll notice that um Evan Carmichael, someone who has over a million subscribers, almost two million, ended up having to split up his channel into like five or six different channels in order to stop competing with himself and, um, and hurting his own channel based on trying to diversify and reach a more general audience. So what he ended up having to do after doing a consultation with a uh, with Little Monster Media, which is a top YouTube analytics company. Um, you can check out their YouTube channel as well. They advised him to divide up his different types of content so that each channel focused on a very particular group um, of targeted audience. So now he's got all these different channels here. He's got like six or seven different channels and uh, you'll notice that he's probably going to grow faster this way. So you'll, based on the YouTube algorithm, they promote your videos out to these people who are subscribed to you and the wider, the bigger the audience that is your subscribers that watches your new video, the more they expand your audience and they promote the video for you. So the smaller niche you are, the more likely a bigger percentage of your subscribers will watch your video and then YouTube will promote it from there. The more of your subscribers watch your initial video, they'll expand out your um, audience to see how many more people would want to watch it. Another thing you might want to do is go worldwide. So uh, one problem with just targeting your country is that you could be uh, selling yourself short on what would be a huge market around the world where there are probably countries that have even more people and more interested users than your current country. Like the U.S., for instance, uh, a lot of channels in the U.S. are starting to get more and more interested viewers from India and other countries. So go worldwide. And uh, you may want to start thinking about translating your channel and doing subtitles and things like that. So one thing you can do is uh, research kind of what countries are growing the most. One of them is India. A lot of new users are, are in India. And of course they have over a billion people just in that country alone. It's supposed to rise by 40%. Smartphones to double by 2023. I'll have a link to this article in the show notes so you can read about it. Uh, Rev.com is a place where you can get uh, captions for your videos pretty cheap as well as foreign subtitles where it translate them into spanish into hindu and to uh, all these different you know into all these different uh, languages so uh, another thing you can do is translate and maybe even uh, start other channels where you do the same content but it's for a different language so you would have maybe separate channels you might experiment with that some people have had success with having a uh, spanish only channel as a branch off of their english speaking channel another thing you want to do is about 10 minute or more videos so 
to add to have the most ad potential for your video they need to be at least 10 minutes long youtube is trying to keep people on youtube as long as possible so really there's not a whole lot to tell you as far as just try to experiment with longer videos and you should be able to uh, see a difference. You'll notice that a lot of videos that aren't like movies, trailers, and music videos are getting longer and longer. A lot of these are 10 minutes, 25 minutes, 15 minutes long so that they can maximize ad revenue. You can have ad breaks in the middle of videos and uh, you can increase your watch time. If you can get your watch time up to like seven or eight minutes per video, that's like the gold mine sweet spot right now and going into the future. Another thing you want to do is uh, when you're keeping people on YouTube, you also want to focus on CTR. That means that you do really well in search results and suggestions. When your video is up against other videos, people tend to click on it when people are seeing it. So uh, one way to do this is to get really good at um, thumbnails and titles. So your thumbnail, of course, is this picture that goes with your video that teases it. Um, so a lot of times if you have text, you want it to be mobile optimized, very big words like this one about Sonic right here. Easily you could read that on any device and then you want some kind of expression or uh, a close up of somebody's face if you can and uh, give people kind of a teaser of what's in the video and make them feel like they have to click to find out. Um, and so you also want to look into like newspapers and magazines and entertainment sites and get an idea of how they write their titles to be kind of shorter, punchy, and to create a lot of intrigue. So I would also look at trending videos on the trending page on YouTube and get some ideas there. Um, and another thing you can do is you want to keep people on YouTube by not having uh, links your, as your main thing that you're sending people to. Obviously, if you have a business, uh, you may want to uh, get people to subscribe to your email list and things like that. But if you have fewer links, people are more likely to stay on YouTube and watch more of your videos in a row. What you want is for people to stay on YouTube, watch your videos to the end, and watch another video from you, and another one, and another one. So again, You'll notice a lot of the top videos on the trending page are music. There's not really any reason to click on a link unless you just want to go buy it somewhere. Um, uh, movie trailers, usually people, they'll watch a movie trailer and then they'll go to another video. They don't necessarily need to go to a website of any sort. Um, so that's that's the limitation with a, like a channel like mine where I'm, I have a business and it's more educational because... Uh, if it were just entertainment and there is nothing that you really need to click on, if there are no show notes, there are no links, there are no tools that I recommended, uh, people would probably watch one video to the next more often. That's why you also see business channels like Gary Vaynerchuk really do well with motivational videos because there's not really any reason to click on a link when you watch a motivational video. There's not really a uh, whole lot of more value by clicking a link than there is to just watch a bunch of motivational videos in a row. Another thing you want to do going into the future of YouTube is uh, mass promotion in the first 24 hours. All right. So this really uh, makes YouTube more likely to promote it to a wider audience and get you new subscribers and things like that. So um, you can use vidIQ to see how to rank your videos. You can use TubeBuddy to um, also create really good thumbnails and automate a lot of your uh, video cards and stuff. And they also tell you the statistics you might wanna see um, and get an idea of what your competition's doing so that you can maximize the growth of your video uh, based on current trends and current keywords that are really good. And then on top of that, you want to, of course, promote it wherever you can, like Pinterest. You'll notice that I pin my videos like this one 
this one, this one, this one. I pin them on Pinterest automatically. I embed them in uh, blog posts on my website here and then have show notes underneath it so that you can get everything you need from the video. You can also promote it to your email list using a site like GetResponse that allows you to automate this using RSS feeds. Um, and if you need a website, I recommend you just go to start a blog on selfmadesuccess.com and I'll have a walkthrough of how to do that. Um, very cheap and high quality with a, uh, a good hosting company, but you can also try website builders and other things as well. But I recommend you just promote your YouTube in the first 24 hours as much as possible using social media, using, uh, pretty much whatever you have that you can promote it on. So also another thing you want to do, you want to focus less on uh, metadata and more on things like uh, watch time. So it's all about watch time and click through rate right now. That's pretty much the way it's going. Uh, how long do people watch? Do people go to the next video? That's also called retention. So retention is another thing. If you can master those three things on YouTube, you'll make money long term. So watch time, click through rate, and retention. Are we, I already went through uh, click through rate. That is thumbnails and titles. If you're not getting a good click through rate, you need to improve your thumbnails and titles. And uh, you may also be uh, promoting to the wrong audience. So watch time of course you keep people engaged you have a lot of good information but your video is not too long and those types of things so obviously what you can do is use your analytics go to your watch time page see what your top watch time videos are and then uh, do more videos like those in the future and then go to the last few pages and see uh, which ones are underperforming in watch time and do less of those. So I recommend you always look at your analytics. And then uh, other than that, another thing you wanna do is maximize playlists. So playlists, of course, are a big part of retention. And if you master playlists, you will have a lot of people watching multiple videos in a row and of course subscribing to your channel. So if you uh, use playlists by maybe linking a playlist in the comments, you may have noticed me doing that lately. Um, also, instead of uh, promoting multiple videos at the end of my video, I promote one playlist that has very related videos to the one that you just watched. So you're more likely to enjoy those videos in particular. It's more likely to be helpful for you if you just watch that video and it also encourages people to watch more of my videos in a row, making my retention rate better and more likely for YouTube to want to promote my videos in the future. So that's it. Again, as usual, stay tuned for more um, YouTube tips and ways to make money online. But that's what I believe is the future of making money on YouTube. That kind of sums it up. And if you want more tips from YouTube and how to make money on there, check out that playlist right there in the top right corner and that will have a group of these types of videos that will help you master making money on YouTube in a lot of different ways through you know affiliate marketing through mark through marketing your videos and maximizing AdSense and all of that kind of stuff so more on YouTube just click that playlist right there in the top right and I'll see you in the next video